All right, well, so for the first couple of rooms, you kind of just go for it. There's no real threats to you. I decided to go full speed Mach 10 as fast as I could. I didn't look up any speedrun strats, I just figured everything out myself. Uh, but you can go as fast or slow as you like. There's no real threat until you get past the first, uh, the first fire section and start going into the first ice section. That's when the level ramps up a bit in difficulty. But for this, if you want to see what I did, which personally it's the fastest, uh, the fastest I could go. I had to run faster than this by two seconds, but this is pretty much as fast as you can go in this section without looking up speedrun strats. Um, you can slow down the footage, but basically it's just a lot of wave dashing. We get here and uh, I exit this room in about 56 seconds, I think, or 58. No, it was 58. 56 is my fastest time, but I messed up the neutral wall bounces there, so we go a bit slower. I almost died there. I literally clipped through the ice ball. I don't know how that happened, but yeah, that's where we're at right now. We, I don't even notice it. I just keep going like the absolute beast I am. And we get here. I wait the, I wait the cycle to make sure I don't miss that jump. I, I've died like 50 times in that room because I decided to go fast. Um, this room is really easy. I've literally never died here. You just wait for the right time to go and you side and up dash there. Now, that's a speedrunner strat. I would not recommend doing that unless you know how to do this fast. Not a speedrunner strat. It's just a fast strat I developed. I'm not sure if any of this is speedrunner strats or no. I just did it all on my own. Now, this is where it starts to ramp up in difficulty. This is where you're gonna start struggling, especially this room. But I, I made it so if I wait until that thing is kind of oriented diagonally, you almost never die. It, I did this room about 7 out of 8 times I beat it. This one is very consistent if you know what you're doing, but you're not, you're gonna slam your head into spikes a lot. Make sure to not land at the very edge of the last platform or you're gonna get yeeted straight into the bouncer. Now, this room is normally pretty easy, but uh, during this run, I kind of had a little hiccup where I forgot the whole jump there and I almost died. And I screw up again and I have to bounce and hold on for dear life and barely make that and rely on the bouncers. I do not recommend relying on the bouncers. They are not very precise and a lot of the times you're gonna get flung straight into ice. Now here again, I do a very big oopsie. I run out of stamina there and barely save myself. And I almost die at the end there. I was pixels from the spikes. But now we enter the hardest section that caused me the most mental trauma. What I like to call the floor is lava. That rhymed a little bit. Um, so you, you, you just go up. That's the basic summary. I practice this a lot. And I mean like I beat this section 10 times in a row before I even attempted doing this. So I knew, so I had a good idea of what to do be if I ever got this far. So I wouldn't throw a golden run. I, I threw a lot of golden runs, but I threw way less than I would have normally. Um, fun fact, I never died in this room in my entire attempts. I don't know why this room is so far into a chapter, it is pathetic. Now this on the other hand, this room, oh my god. The amount of times I messed up this dash, this dash right here. Yeah, that one, I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, this one is, it looks tight and it is tight. You can't slow down, but if you know what you're doing, it's not that bad. It looks tight, but you've got everything under control. This room on their hand, you don't have anything under control. You just kind of have to pray that it goes well and it went well. Luckily for me, it went well. Also, you need to have one dash in the end there. You're not going to make it. I tried to make it without dashes. You're not going to make it if you don't have one. This room looks intimidating, but it's surprisingly consistent if you know what you're doing. The hardest section is these ice bounces, but I practiced them a lot, so I knew what I was doing. You go up here, you grab onto the wall, and then you get battling. And you know, for this section, I'm just gonna let the live commentary uh, do the trick. I didn't do that for the rest because I was very quiet. Okay, holy crap. This is the second time I've gotten this far. Come on, come on. Do not mess this up. Take your time. Take your time. You've died here before. Okay, okay, okay. Next room. This one's easy. You can't mess this up. 
Just jump here, bounce, dash, dash, and you're good, you're good. This one again, just bounce a hyper, bounce on hyper. There, there. Okay, we made it, we made it. The hyper was consistent, let's go. Crap, crap. Okay, okay, I made it, I made it. Second to last room. Let's go. Let's go. Don't bounce into the wall. Don't bounce into the wall. Don't bounce into the wall. Last one. Last one. Let's go. Come on. Yes. 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 I, I do not want to jail right now because my parents will murder me But let's go That's two weeks Two weeks worth of grinding Finally over Now all that's left is to just fall into the end Oh, I hate this Uh, oops. I, uh, I definitely did not miss that hard four times in a row. Yay. And now, let's see the final death count. How bad is it? Holy. Uh, this, I originally did this in like 89 deaths. Yay.